Good morning, guys. So today I thought I would do something different. A lot of people have asked to see a lot of times what we eat and what Jackson eats. So even though I plan to do this video, today's gonna be kind of a boring day, so I thought it'd be a good day to do this. He is sick, so what he eats is gonna be different. So um, I guess I thought I'd just show you guys that. Uh, so this is gonna be like what my seven month old ate today kind of video and what we eat. Um, most babies at this point are vegetarians. Some do eat like chicken and baby food like that. Um, a lot of people I know that are not vegetarians don't actually didn't actually start their kids on meat to like past nine months. But um, so a lot of babies at this point don't eat meat. <laughs> but Jackson won't be eating meat. He will be a vegetarian until he's old enough to make that decision. I would never force him to be a vegetarian his whole life till he moved out, you know? Um, it's just simply in this household where we eat vegetarian. Occasionally when we go out to eat, Justin will get meat because he's not full vegetarian. Um, but when Jackson's older, like five or six, and he can make that decision for himself, if he chooses to eat meat, then he can just eat meat when we go out to eat like Justin does. Um, so just want to put that out there. You know, that's our family choice. What you choose for your family is what you choose for your family. And it's, yeah, so that's just what we choose to do. Um, so you won't see him like eat meat or us eat meat. And there's like something, I don't know, my, I feel like there's something in my tooth, but I don't see anything. I don't know. I'm being weird. Okay, so I'm just tired. Um, that is, he also eats all organic. Um, <clears throat> I don't have an opinion whether or not other people's kids eat all organic. I don't think there's anything wrong if your baby doesn't eat all organic. I just, I don't want anyone to think that like, I don't care what other people's kids eat. I don't care if they're vegetarians. I don't care if they eat organic or not. My choices are not a reflection of how I feel about people that do things differently, if that makes sense. So um, I just wanna put that out there. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, you eat meat or oh, your baby doesn't eat organic. That's not me. I just made the decision to feed him all organic right now, um, especially like we eat a lot of organic stuff, but um, right now babies grow and develop so much in the first year, especially the first three years. They're, everything's developing and kind of mapping out their body for the rest of their life. So it's important to me that he's not getting a lot of, you know, pesticides and chemicals and stuff like that. I'm very particular about what he eats um and that's just a choice I've made um it's not really that expensive because I make all his food I think like some of my friends that feed their baby just like Gerber and stuff like just you know generic baby food um they spend more make like buying baby food that's not organic than I do making my own organic baby food. So um, it's not, <laughs> I think some people think too, like, oh, their baby eats all organic and super healthy because they have the money to. It's not really like something that's super expensive, but it's just a choice that we have made. So everything he eats is organic. Once in a while, if we're out to eat at a Mexican food restaurant or something, you know, and I get him some avocado, that might not be organic. Or um, let's see, his coconut water is organic, but next time I'm not going to buy organic because like most of the stuff in, like most stuff I buy him organic, but there are certain things that don't matter if it's organic or not. Watermelon and coconut are two of them that the rind and stuff is so um, like chemicals and toxins and stuff can't penetrate it essentially. So those are safe to get non-organic. So next time I won't be getting organic coconut water, but you got, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so those are just some kind of like intro things. I've been talking for four minutes already, so I will get into this video. So this is what Jackson ate, what we ate. His food is going to be a lot thinner than it usually would be because he's on thicker purees and he's also self-feeding once a day with like very like very fine cut up vegetables and fruits and stuff like that um and he also self-feeds with a spoon once a day but right now while he's at the end of his cold there's a lot of mucus and stuff and he's having a hard time eating anything that's thick I think he feels like he can't breathe 
He's also drinking a little less milk than he usually does, which they said is fine because he's sick. He's not going to eat or drink. He's eating enough food. Like, that boy can eat. But he's drinking a little less, and he is eating a little less, and he can't have anything too thick. So his meal today is going to be different than in the future if you guys want me to do a what my baby ate today with his usual thicker purees and his self-feeding once a day. Let me know. But um, without further ado, because I keep talking, let's get into this video. So Jackson wakes up with Justin. Um, I used to wake up with Jackson. Sometimes I still do. But Justin actually asked if he could start doing it because he enjoys having breakfast with him and stuff. Um, and he says it helps him make sure he gets into work on time. So I let Justin take over breakfast. So he's already eaten. I can't show it. But this is what he tends to eat for breakfast, the quinoa cereal. We also get have it in banana. Um, but the quinoa stuff is a lot healthier than rice cereal, even healthier than oatmeal cereal. Um, he does get oatmeal cereal sometimes, but his favorite is this quinoa with banana and apple. So there's that. Um, like I said, in the pantry we have some of the, I think we have some of the apple. Yeah, here's the other one he eats. That's his other one he eats a lot. Um, and it's organic, and he really, really, really enjoys it. Sometimes we put prunes in it. Um, they don't give him diarrhea. They just help keep him regular whenever his formula sometimes constipates him. It's like this weird, this is his formula. This is the only formula that, um, sensitive or whatever, that's like reduced lactose that actually worked. Everything else gave him extreme diarrhea. We tried so many different formulas. Um, we tried soy since he's a little sen he's sensitive to milk, but um, the soy didn't even work well for us. This has been the only thing that he's able to digest and not throw up everywhere or have like projectile diarrhea. And yes, that is a thing and it was horrifying. So this works well, but once, once in a while he gets a little constipated. Um, even with his, like, all the fruits and vegetables, he eats a solid. So he eats prunes pretty regularly, like maybe every other day with his cereal. And sometimes he just has fruit. Justin said this morning all he had was the quinoa. That's all he felt like in his bottle. So he had five ounces of milk with it. So since he's having a hard time with the milk because of all his nasal congestion, it makes him more mucusy and he, um spits up more oh my gosh he's crawling out of the little house for the first time you've never done that are you crawling out of there oh my goodness i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you oh my goodness so um i'm gonna make him a smoothie this is coconut water unrefined organic um non-concentrated literally like straight from a coconut coconut water nothing added if you give your baby coconut water um or even your kid they don't need sugar added and all that crap it tastes really nice straight out of a coconut um so yeah just yeah i don't we don't do juice and coconut water is a once in a while treat because he's sick right now um i'm giving him some but i always dilute it this diluted water so that's what i'm using in his smoothie um, this is a little snack. I've got organic blueberries, organic mango, organic spinach, and an organic banana. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that up for him. And I give it to him in a little bottle. And there it is. Ready to go. So I used pretty much all the coconut water. Um, I'm going to blend it up and put it in here because he likes these smaller bottles for this. Here's your smoothie. You hold it so mommy can make her a smoothie. <laughs> hold it so mommy can make hers. There you go. So for mine, I'm having banana, spinach, and the other half of, um, well, I'm having the other half of his banana, spinach, 
um, and strawberries, which he cannot have strawberries yet. Um, so, yeah, I like to pull the stems off though, because those don't taste very good in the smoothie. I don't know, it makes it more bitter. Um, after, since this is a fresh open bag, I actually put this in a freezer safe Ziploc bag and I freeze it from this point on because this is smoothie spinach and since organic stuff's not cheap, like um, things like spinach and stuff, and it's only gonna go into smoothies, I will um, freeze stuff like that. So that's gonna be frozen, and these are my strawberries. But um, yeah, it freezes well. You just put it there in the bag, and then when you make smoothies, you toss it into your smoothie as needed. So I don't know, just a little tip to save so it doesn't go bad before you use it all. So I thought I had enough fluid, but I don't. So to help it blend a little better, I'm going to add um, some organic uh, almond milk. So this is going to be my breakfast. This is silk, um, non-dairy um, yogurt alternative. This one has, um, it has, I think it uses soy, which I try to buy nut stuff or coconut stuff, but they didn't have any in the grocery store that I went to, and I need to go to Whole Foods, but this is an alternative, and I'm going to put some of this organic um, vanilla almond granola into this. So that's my breakfast. It's about an hour after his smoothie, and he's having five ounces of milk. <laughs> Mommy's starting lunch. So to keep him busy while I started lunch, I gave him the Little Yum Organic Teething Wafer with Spinach, Apple, and Kale. It comes in a pack of three. I just give him one. Sometimes I try not to give him these too much. These, I feel like, are the best. The other ones, the thinner ones, he really likes those, but they have salt in them a little bit. So I try not to give them to him that often. And I'll just show you guys his puffs. These are his quinoa puffs. He has really been liking that. We use quinoa stuff as much as possible because it has protein. But um, he also likes the happy baby puffs that are, um, I just think, I don't know what they're made of. I think whole whole grain puffs. Um, but they're organic too. So I just give him a little something while I heat up his lunch because I heat his food on the stove with hot water. Um, that's why I really like my glass containers. I don't like using the microwave. It cooks a lot of the nutrients out. Um, it changes the composition of the nutrients. So as often as possible, I use the stove for all of our food in general, but especially his. Once in a while, I do have to microwave stuff because we're in a rush or something, but I try to cook it on the stove like this, like a gentle, slow warming. This is green beans and um, it's blended up with quinoa. Usually I just have the quinoa whole, but because he's having that issue um, with the choking thing with all the mucus, I blended up the quinoa in there as well. So it's got protein and green beans. Probably should have given you a bib <laughs> before this. Oops. Oops. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it too warm? It's not warm. Let me check. No, it's not too warm. No, mommy's gonna feed it to you. You'll put too much in your mouth right now while you're sick and choke. Oh, oh why is my so Jackson ate most of his food? There is maybe like a, maybe less than a fourth of it left. I'm gonna put it away for dinner tonight. Um, yeah, see, I've been drinking good bottles today. Um, he's had three bottles. He usually has six in a day, and it's not even halfway through the day. So I think, like, I don't want to push the solids. Obviously, I never push the solids. Like, he's done. He's done. He usually eats more, but I think because he's finally drinking his enough of his milk, he's not eating as much, which is good because I'd rather him have a formula because that's where all his nutrients are at. I am eating a salad that's got... It's just spinach, some craisins, um, <laughs> strawberries, coconut, shredded coconut, and walnuts. And then it's got an oil, um, olive oil um, and balsamic, 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 I cannot talk. Oh my gosh. 
balsamic. I, why can't I say this word? I don't know. I give up. Y'all know what I'm saying. It's that kind of dressing. Um, so it's just so good. So that's my lunch. Balsamic. Why was I trying to say balsamic? Balsamic. Gosh. Okay. So I'm going to make veggie fajitas for dinner tonight for us. I put him in the jumper so I could cut this stuff up, but he is not happy. So I thought I'd just go over what we're going to have and I'll try to cut it later if he gets sleepy again. He's just in a weird mood today. He wants to sleep a lot. So I'm kind of upset at the grocery store. I put in two bell peppers in the order and they only gave me one, which I'm making stuffed peppers later in the week. So um, I put in one green pepper, one red, one orange, uh, one orange, one yellow, and then onion, of course. Um, let's see, I thought I got two onions, but I didn't. Um, some zucchini and also yellow squash, um, or yeah, and poblano peppers. Um, also, I put a little bit of garlic in ours and mushrooms. Justin does not like mushrooms, so I have to chop these up. So if it's chopped up, he won't um, he won't know he's eating mushrooms. <laughs> If that makes sense. Like he, it's it's like a texture thing for him, not a taste thing. Whereas I love them. So yeah, um, that's our dinner is going to be veggie fajitas. Basically, I'm gonna cut it all, and then put it in here and season it and let it sit in the fridge a couple hours. There is case of drama llama going on. Here, here's your smoothie. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. So I got finished with it. I'm going to uh, cover it and put it in the fridge for a few hours. And give somebody a bottle and put them to night night because you just want to sleep tonight or today because you're just so tired and cranky. So that's our veggie fajitas. This is his fifth bottle of the day. He usually has six. This is five ounces. Five ounces each bottle. Sometimes he doesn't finish them. And we put them in the fridge and save them for the next feeding. If he doesn't finish it at that feeding, I throw it out. Start cooking our food. These are tortillas in the dough form um, flour so they cook on the stove instead of already being like pre-cooked we like them better that way if you want to be healthier there's corn um, <laughs> this is Jackson's dinner the rest of his green beans and quinoa and then over here is mango peas avocado and banana that's like a blend he likes it's kind of like a sweet treat so since his tummy's being weird and off and he's not feeling good. I thought I gave him this little like sweet treat for dinner. So that's his dinner. I'll get to him in a second. And yeah. This is the final meal um, of how it looks. I got sour cream out for Justin because he likes sour cream. And we got queso from our favorite Mexican restaurant because I'm not gonna front. I could have pretended I'm not gonna put queso on and I'm being super healthy, but I love queso. So I've had to put a little, put a little drizzle of queso on it, but. Yeah, this is really good because you can like use it in omelets later, what's left over. So, yeah. Hey, psst, psst. hey. Mmm. Mmm. It's a big glob. Oh, that's too big. Here, take a little bite and I'll get the rest. There you go. <laughs> He's like, mmm, I want the whole bite. I want the whole bite. Ready? Okay, yeah, it's our dinner. Oh, and there's your water. That is mostly water. And then we have a little bit of the coconut, what? Yeah, a little bit of the coconut water mixed in. But normally he just drinks water, but because he's sick, um, I'd be giving him some coconut water here and there because it's a natural source of electrolytes and um, rehydrates really well. Okay. Mm. Okay, just to show you guys a preview of the foods I'm making for them this week. These all organic produce, um, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, butternut squash. And I have some more peas and green beans to make him. Um, sometimes I'll mix the quinoa with stuff. Um, sometimes, no, sometimes I'll mix the two vegetables or I'll put some fruit in there um, or avocado and stuff. And then in here I have a pear I'm going to cook for him tonight an apple and some organic carrots. So normally Jackson drinks five 
um, six five ounce bottles. He had um, five five ounce bottles and one ounce from the sixth one. I might try to give him a little more before I go to sleep or I might just let him sleep through it. Um, but that's pretty good because he hasn't been drinking as many fluids as he should be. Um, or normally would, I wouldn't say should be, but he's been drinking enough to have wet diapers. I'm going to snack on some of these smoked almonds while I edit. Anyway, that's what Jackson ate today and what we ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in our next one. Bye! <laughs>